Many people associate glass with fragility and with um, sharp and, and danger. And for me, it's the opposite. For me, glass is a, a strong material and it's really soft. I feel empowered by nature every day and it starts from the walk that I take with the dogs every morning and I take that feeling into the workshop uh, when I start working and I take that energy and, uh, and get to work and I need that energy I think every morning. I need to, to feel and to be in that zone and to be almost like a meditation. The sculpture is called Will of Life and it indicates movement and it, it indicates um, that hopefully the spectator is, is part of this movement and they can stand under it and they almost like they're sucked into this spiraling motion going upwards. Um, and in Dutch it's called wegveling, which is called whirling, like whirlwind. the heartbreaking simplicity of ordinary things. Of being happy with just simple little things, just like a, a little shrivel petal that is lying on the, on the table. Yeah, and there's a lot of noise involved and a lot of, and a lot of fire and a lot of danger. And, and that is exciting at the same time when you try to get the sensitivity uh, of the artwork in the glass and then have all this noise and this <laughs> and this machinery and the, and the hot temperature is an interesting uh, combination. Yeah, he said the question was, what was the first thing you did when you when you heard you got the commission? And I said, uh, first I fell off my chair because I was so shocked that, that they chose me. And then I um, jumped a hole in the air. That's a Dutch expression of being really happy and ecstatic. And then I went out to buy all these tulips and I put them in vases and I watched them open up and I watched the, the, the tulips curl around and I watched the petals fall off and I studied the way that, that they shriveled up and changed color and I took photographs and I did drawings and that became my inspirational journey for this, for this project.
to me it's a, re a reminder that we are part of nature and, and that the seasons are coming back and everything returns and the petals they fall off the, off the flower and they go onto the soil and they were eaten by the worms and they become compost and everything starts all over again. The tree takes and the plants take the nutrition from the soil and the compost and everything goes back. <laughs>